Hey guys, welcome to Findragon Place Valkyria Chronicles. This is a game that I uh, admittedly once started playing off camera. Then the game began to screw with my resolutions and I couldn't continue it anymore. And I tried to fix that issue for about uh, a year maybe. And then all of a sudden it fixed itself. I bought the new GDX for myself, the 970, and now it works. And I thought that, well, since I have this new thing going on on my channel where I have a long-running RPG going on and then other games to support it. Sega. Go away, please. I want to play this now. Please, hush. Because I liked it. Back when I tried it. And I didn't really get too far, so... I wonder if my save is still there. Even if it is, I'm going to start the game. Let's see. Yep, it would be still there. Four hours and that's yet, yet, yet. Anyway. New game. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful <laughs> principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. Thank you. So, off we go. Let's just hop right into it. Why is it always Gallia that's standing alone? Why do people hate Gallia so much? Well, March 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. I guess if they are neutral that that would explain it though. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. Step one. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Oh, you know, pretty chill here.
Here's the main character with ADD. Freeze. Put your hands in the air. Slowly. <laughs> Those helmets. I haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin. And you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? Well... <sighs> All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. It's... Uh, yeah. Never mind. Also, this game can progress pretty slowly at the time, because you have to... Re... quote-unquote quote, read this thing like a book. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. What the hell? I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Oh. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> well, gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on! I made it through training anyway. <laughs> well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Okay. Ready? How about saving the game? Alright, I should probably save the game. And I'm going to just over overwrite this because fuck it. And let's get the fight. Oh, a tutorial and I can't skip it. Okay, here's the plan. Okay. We're going to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Sure, why not? Eliminate all enemies, yeah. I know, I know. 20 first pass. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Can I skip this? Um. 
Yes, 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 common points, yada, yada, yada. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. I know how to play, thank you. God damn. Just into there. And back. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. The other one's right there. I could probably just go through the whole thing with Velkin, but Moving out. I'll just use more than just him here. I know I just did this. I'm just going to use her again because. Moving out. But now she has less action points. It doesn't really matter. It's not a... And Please. bang! There. I just want to get through these tutorials as fast as possible. The only downside is that I could use. I don't see any more of them. Well. Duh. You said there were only three of them. On the other hand, I really don't remember how to do much else than combat here, so maybe the tutorial is a good thing. Let's see the next cutscene. And we have a lot of those. Cutscenes for days. Miss Melkiot, there's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So was... it's begun. I was wondering why... I'll do whatever it takes to protect people, the people want, uh, of this town. Scavenge those. I'll do it. Weapons and Even armor. Even going to war. I'll do it. If they are so, if they are so superior, superior the what are those? Our seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just. People killing people. Well, that even in war, there was also new life. 
On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. Spoilers! These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And of love blooming even through the flames of Snake, war. Snake, do you think that love can bloom even what on the battlefield? What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Well, now we basically know the whole story. We're gonna stop it right here. Nah. Chapter 1, In Defense of Bruel. Yeah, let's just save right here. And let's go. In the beginning of the game there are a bit few too many cutscenes actually, to my liking, but... As I recall later on, the f that thing changes. <sighs> Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Hmm. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> the one thing I kind of dislike is that some of these cutscenes are really short. How's the packing coming along, Ys? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I've already had four of them. Hello there. Um, I is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? Nope, he's out. I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. A bag full of bread. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. That face. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? You could say that. And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. Wait. And what a lovely lady you are for all that. Oh, never mind. What? I'm... <coughs> Pardon me. I'm not even going to try to understand what that means. Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend? 
Just his hero. Yeah, well. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. I'm... That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? I'm happy that you can take this whole war approaching thing so lightly. I would most likely be panicking yep. off my ass. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? Well, apparently no one was offended. No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, and I would, uh, nowadays in this world that would mean something completely different. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? And they knew it. Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. A oh, nice little homestead. Okay, new episode. Another cutscene. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Well, you already kind of look like one. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way. My own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Well, apparently a tank. Or a cannon. That sound. So if the Empire isn't supposed to be, unless you already knew that the Empire were the I bad guys, they are the also mill. shooting civilians. Because, you know, that's that's what people do when it's wartime. They go around shooting civilians. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Oh, really? Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. Well, time to fight again. Finally, after watching cutscenes for like... I'll explain the mission. 10,000 minutes.
Uh huh. The enemy has invaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Hide behind the sandbags for cover as you advance towards the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. I'm pretty sure they'll be there in the plaza area. Be careful, there might be enemy units hiding behind the buildings out there. Hidden enemies won't show up in the command mode view, so be careful as you make your advance. Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. Yep, let's go. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Yep. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. I guess. What damage? A certain amount of damage a unit sustained is healed each turn. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back and heal up. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Whoop. Yeah, 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 I know this. So did I have... I don't have any grenades. I know, I know, I know. It's uh, good that you teach me this thing when... When I have already... For the battle! I know! Stop! So, that. Take this! That guy yes! is hiding, so he won't be... He cannot be... Shot from the head, so... So I just have to... Come on now. As said, I can't really do much about him because uh, the headshots won't work. My turn, okay? So we'll just uh, focus on. Oh, come on. That was my turn. Let's see what the enemy's up to. Oh. Now. Wrecked. There we go. What else? Now. Well, you f you fucked up, boy. Here we go. Enemy sighted! That's the scout leader. 
But he's behind a cover. So we'll take this guy down first. Yes! Okay. Now let's dance. My turn, okay? And he should be going down. There we go. We had an extra command point for killing the leader, but that doesn't really matter because, well, the leader died and the objective was complete. But that's important to remember for further... further matches. What's that? Well... Sounds like a tank. Yeah, this isn't going too well, is it? No, that's what I thought. Oh, right. Yeah, right about now. Yeah, we are not going to stay here. Welkin, tank. That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. Yeah, we are going to run. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Well, not quite. So yeah, ready to go. Ending current action here. Ready to go. And I'm going to blast that guy out of the way. Now. Yes. Then I'm going to run because only he needs to get here. Yeah, that's a tank. Phew, looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. Yeah. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
will be fine. B rank. I apparently could have done better.